In this video, I want to go over how you can start becoming one of the better players on your team by discovering what's going to help you have the most positive impact in your matches. What's up guys, it's Dave here from Simply Soccer where we are helping you improve your game and stand out on the pitch. On this channel, we release daily soccer tip, technique and training videos. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you hit that bell icon so you don't miss any new content that we release. Now in this video, I wanna give you some advice on how you can start being more of an impact player on your soccer team and how you can start going from strength to strength becoming one of those really standout players in matches. Now, in order to get you to the point where you're a standout player and you're improving very quickly, we need to identify two things. And the first thing we need to identify is what are you good at and what are your strengths? The fact of the matter is you cannot be good at everything, or at least most players cannot. But I guarantee you there are a few things you're really good at. For example, maybe your shooting is one of the best out of all your teammates. Maybe you're finishing, maybe your passing ability. Maybe nobody on your team or even in your league can take another player one-on-one -on -one like you can. The thing is you only have so much time to practice and you can only focus on so much when you go to practice. What I want you to think about is start focusing on your strengths more so that you can become really, really good at them. So you're not only good at them, but you're actually great at them. So if you're someone who has the ability to beat someone one-on-one -on -one most times, double down on that ability. If you're someone who's a pretty good goal scorer, double down on that ability. What can you do to make your strengths even more of a strength. Now, why do you wanna do this? Now, obviously, you don't wanna neglect your weaknesses. You need to be competent at certain areas. But if it's just not a part of your game, for example, to play incredibly long 50-yard balls to the other side of the field, why would you focus more on that than your strengths? If defense and sly tackling players is not something that's a part of your game or even something asked of you in matches, why would you spend time doing that when you could spend time on a strength? Figure out what sets you on fire, what allows you to make the most impact in your matches and really double down on that area. So once you've identified the things you are good at, the next thing to identify is what is going to have the most positive impact on my game. Now there's gonna be a few factors that are going to vary what this answer is to you. Now the most um, important factor is probably your position. For example, if you are a striker, most likely finishing is something that would impact your game in a positive way. If you're a midfielder, retaining possession and having good passing ability and control over the ball. Figure out what skill areas would have the most positive impact on your game for your position. Now again, why am I asking this of you? Because we want to follow what's called the Pareto Principle. And the Pareto Principle says that 20% of our actions lead to 80% of our results. And what this means is 80% of what we do is only leading to 20% of our results. Now you can change that formula for, to 90, 10, to 70, 30, but what it's saying is there is usually something, a small amount of what we do, which leads to the most benefit for us. So what happens when you double down on those areas that are already contributing to 80% of your results? What happens is you you start performing even better. You look at a player like Harry Kane, for example, someone who identified, or at least I assume he identified, that finishing and his movement is going to be the two of the most important parts of his game. And look, after you know enough time, he's become one of the best players in the world, one of the best goal scorers in the world, through focusing a lot of his effort on those two areas. Now, in that time, he could have worked on, say, skill moves. But if anyone watches Harry Kane play, you'll know he's not doing step overs or elasticos or Maradonas. In fact, I've never seen him even attempt to do one of those. He usually just has some cuts and feints or moves that give him enough space to shoot. He knew what his strengths were and he knew what was going to give him the most positive impact if he worked on it. And you can just tell how much work he's put not only into his finishing and ability in front of goal, but his movement as well. So for your game, what are the areas you could focus on that will have the most immediate and long-term impact on your game. Really think about this and identify the areas and see where these two overlap. So what are the things you're already good at and what are the things that are going to have the most positive impact on your game? And if there is an answer that's the same for both of those, that's definitely one you wanna focus on. So don't think I'm telling you, oh, just because 
I'm not a midfielder, I shouldn't focus on my passing. Don't think that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying, for example, if you're a striker, you probably want to dedicate more time to getting three in the box, getting in on goal and finishing, than you do on your slide tackling and defensive play. Same if you're a defender, you won't be focusing so much on your shooting and finishing and things of that nature, but you will be focusing on defending one-on-one -on -one situations, on being able to cut off passing lanes, things of that nature. So the best way for you to do this is write down the answer to the two things I brought up, which is what are you good at already and what will have the most impact positively in your game if you were to work on a certain area. Write those things down, see what comes up, and really, really consider focusing a lot of your training on those areas. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see really quick improvements and really see your impact in matches um, improve positively in a short amount of time, seriously, start dedicating yourself to doing this. Um, it's only going to pay off if you stick with it. Um, thanks again for watching. Please like and share this video. Subscribe if you are new. Uh, as always, I'll have two videos come up on the screen so you can continue to grow and learn and improve as a player. And I'll see you in the next video.